Hey guys, so I was going to film, uh, well I was going to upload another video today, but I was thinking about um, my human biology class last night that I went to, and we started talking about like psychopaths and the biology of that, and I kind of wanted to just talk about psychology and psychopaths and TV shows that represent them and what I remember from my psychology degree that I got when I was, you know, younger. And just, you know, that kind of stuff. Because I feel like I haven't really talked about that kind of stuff that much lately. And, yeah. So, so basically we talked about how psychopaths, tech t usually I should say, um, have a couple of crucial variables to make them a psychopath. One being narcissistic personality and the other being antisocial personality. Um, and the sad part about me having a psychology degree is that, I think I told you guys this before, but I went, I, I went into, into the field of psychology because my mother had a lot of like health problems and mental problem well I wouldn't I don't know if she really had mental problems but her physical ailments made her kind of have some other kinds of issues so and so I felt when I was when I was younger when I was a child when she was dealing with those things I wasn't really able to help and because of that helplessness I wanted to help other people with those kinds of issues. And so I went into psychology, which I don't regret, but when I went into it, I didn't really plan to go to grad school. So I, and it was hard. Like, I I feel like people don't really understand how hard psychology is, like, of, like, a study, to, like, study in college, I should say. And as far as I remember, I don't really think I studied psychology when I was in high school. I don't. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that, like, nowadays, people, like, teenagers can learn psychology in high school. I don't think I took psychology in high school. And so, um, and then once I was really into psychology, I started thinking that it was too much for me. Like, I, I, I started, not, not psychology in general, but, like, the idea of being a counselor, because that, that, that was my first idea of what I wanted to do with my degree. And so... Being that I felt like that was too difficult, possibly for me to get into and study, and you know, be that be that as my profession, I then switched to wanting to be a guidance counselor because it, in my mind, included two of the things that I really care about, which is helping people and a school environment, which I've always loved being in a school environment. I've always just enjoyed school. I mean, I, but to be honest, I think when I was younger, I enjoyed more of the academic side of school and I, but when, as I got older, I actually kind of enjoyed the social aspect more than the academic aspect of, of school and education. But I feel like as I get older, I kind of, I feel like I can understand the academic side of it more than I used to when I was, when I was like in, like, maybe like high school and college the first time around. And nowadays it's kind of like balanced. Like I, I care about the academic part of it, but I also care about the um, social aspects, aspects of it. But at the same time, I still don't love like tests and quizzes and, but which I mean, I think that's like, I think that's like the main variable of education that most people don't like because it's like, most people aren't good at test taking and whatever so um but at the same time i just let the social aspect of college get in the way of my psychology and education but i did i did graduate as you guys know obviously and but my point of all that rambling was to point out that i don't really remember most of what i learned in psychology and it became it became prevalent in my mind last night because as a class, we were talking, like I said, we were talking about the biological, like, factors that go into being a psychopath and just, like, what makes a psychopath a psychopath in their brain, obviously. And it just made me realize that, like, 
I feel like I took college for granted the first time around, honestly, because I feel like when I was at that age, well, when you're 18, 19, 20, 20, you know, 21, whatever, it's hard to be focused on education. And I feel like I'm more focused on it now that I'm older. I mean, I still obviously want to like, just like sleep and watch Netflix and chill and go to the movies and stuff like that. More than, more than study, of course, because I'm a human being, but I feel like I could have been more focused and I could have actually cared more about learning psychology back then because I've always, I've, well, really the first thing that really got me into psychology was I've always, I was always interested in knowing what made a criminal, like, tick. Like, what made somebody to do something. Like, well, not really criminals, but that was part of it. But, like, the other thing was, like, what made people do what they did. Like, what drove people to do certain things like that always like intrigued intrigued me but it definitely the criminal side of it definitely has always intrigued me also and um so it, it just like last night just made it prevalent in my mind that i could have taken psychology a lot more seriously back in the day and i could have learned a lot more and and i feel like but at the same time i was young i was stupid and if I could get the chance to do psychology again, I think if I took, if I did, if I ever chose to go back into that field and study again, which I don't, I don't plan to, um, because it's money, because college is not just free, so, and I'm on a path right now to be a teacher, but if I could go back, I probably would go back to not the school that I got my degree at, the Akron U. I probably would go to the school that I'm at right now, Stark State, so, because it's a lot easier of a school. And I think that was half the problem with psychology was, it's not an easy thing to study unless you're, like, really good at, like, memorization and understanding, like, all the different systems in the brain, and I just didn't take my time, I didn't take as much time as I should have when it came to studying and memorization and actually, like, comprehending the concepts and... But nowadays, I feel more, I wouldn't say I feel like more inclined to spend more time, but I, I, I try my best, so. But yeah, that kind of made me think about that last night and how I feel like, I don't necessarily think I feel like an idiot, but I feel like there are definitely things about psychology and the human brain that I would love to actually learn better, learn better, learn again or actually comprehend more than I used to but um I don't know it's it's all a learning process so but yeah I think I thought that was really interesting that we talked about that last night in class and, and we, we it was brought up like Ted Bundy was brought up and Jeffrey Dahmer and and I and I am I just I feel like and I, I just finished watching this tv show actually on Netflix called the end of the fucking world part of my language but that's what it's called I probably could have said effing whatever but whatever um and I it's basically about this boy who's 17 years old and he thinks he's a psychopath and he first realized he's a psychopath when he was like eight or nine years old because um he just didn't have any emotions which is another obviously characteristic of being a psychopath like having no emotions and being apathetic when he was nine years old, he stuffed his hand in like a fryer because he wanted to feel something. And so, and he killed like a lot of animals when he was younger. And basically the story is about this 17 year old boy. He meets this other girl who's like newer to his school and she's, she's different, but not psychotic or psychopathic like he is. I would, I would say she's just different. She doesn't really conform. I feel like that's like more of her thing. She doesn't want to conform to like society's rules and she just wants to do her own thing and be a rebel and you know, whatever. But she also has issues with like emotions too. Um, and they just decide to like leave their town, go on this crazy trip. And what's great about the show is that I think a lot of people will watch it, but I feel like in this show, I think it like like it's not like an angsty teenager kind of show. It's actually really interesting and really a good show, honestly. It's like it's just really interesting, honestly. And they don't use the psychology or the psychopathicness 
if that's a word as a way to just get people to watch it they actually use it in an interesting way and it's and honestly all the problems that these teenagers are experiencing are legitimately like not just angsty teenage stuff like they're not complaining about like you know their best friend hey, hooking up with their friend or you know what i mean like they're not hanging they're not like their their issues are actually real issues and they actually they deal with things on the show in a real way and it's it's refreshing actually to see and it's very interesting to see as somebody who obviously loves psychology and will always love psychology even if i'm not practicing it or remember most of what i learned in college about psychology but you know for me it's it was it's, an, it's a really good show so if you guys are looking for something go check it out and yeah so i think that's basically all i wanted to talk about if you guys enjoyed this let me know below thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos from me me and if you guys want me to do more psychology related videos or more school related videos i'm thinking about filming like a tips and tricks slash organization for like a new semester of college kind of thing so if you guys want me to do that let me know because that's definitely something that i would potentially really be interested in filming for you guys so this was fun so thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye